Good evening and welcome. We acknowledge with gratitude the ancestral lands upon which our main campus is situated. These lands are the ancestral territories of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Anishinaabek, the Wendek. The shared responsibility of this land is honored in the Dish With One Spoon Treaty. And as settlers, we strive to care for the land, the waters, and all creatures in the spirit of peace. We are responsible for respecting and supporting the enduring presence of all First Nations, Métis, and Inuit peoples. We've opted to use live stream for our presentation portion of our time together this evening, about 20 minutes. After the presentation, you'll have the opportunity to join one of four live Q&A sessions with members of the Greenwood community. Our objective today is to allow you to meet the school's admissions team currently on the screen with me this evening, learn more about what, Green, what makes Greenwood unique and direct you to the many resources available through the school's website. So welcome to an introduction to Greenwood. My name is Tiara Hillis, and I hope this is the beginning of a multi-step process for which you learn about Greenwood. Thank you for taking the time to join us. And at this time, I would like to introduce you to our principal, Sarah Bruce. Excellent, thank you, Tiara. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Sarah Bruce and I am Greenwood College School's principal. This is my fourth year as principal here at Greenwood, and I am proud to be a part of this wonderful community. Prior to joining Greenwood, I was the head of school at the International School in Aberdeen, Scotland, where I lived for five years with my family. Preceding this, I was at Havergal College here in Toronto for 14 years as teacher, dean of students, and head of upper school. During my time spent at these schools, I kept a close eye on what was happening here at Greenwood, though. Um, Specifically, I lived at the condos across the street, so I really did keep a close eye on the school. But I've always been a fan of our innovative and personalized approach to teaching and learning here at Greenwood, and as well as the incorporation of outdoor education and experiential learning. So it is my distinct pleasure to welcome you all virtually to Greenwood College School and to this intro introductory session. Greenwood is a wonderful school and it is an amazing place for young people to learn and grow into themselves and a welcoming community for parents and staff to belong to as well. I hope you find this informational session and the various resources that our admissions team has and will put together for you uh, helpful and engaging. I would also like to recognize that while we all go through this process every year, uh, many of you are living this experience firsthand for the first time, or perhaps it's, it's been a while since your family entered into the process of applying to an independent school. So it is a very exciting time, but we also recognize that it can be a trying or nerve wracking time. So please do not hesitate to contact any of us at Greenwood to ensure that all of your questions are answered and know that we are here to help, uh, help to make this process enjoyable. I am quite certain that during the course of this admissions process, you will learn a lot about yourself, about what motivates you, what is important to you, and what you are striving to accomplish in the coming years at your next school. So thank you again. I, I sincerely thank you for your interest in our wonderful school and wish you all the best throughout this exciting process. I hope to welcome you to Greenwood in person sometime in the future. Thanks again for joining us and back to Tira. Thank you, Sarah. And as I said earlier, I am a member of the admissions team. I also um, have the privilege of being a, a teacher advisor for grade eight students. I have 11 currently, and I'm also thrilled to be um, back coaching our youngest boys volleyball team. I'm very excited. I'd also um, just like to mention that I have been here since the school founded 2002. Yes, that makes this my 20th year. Before we go further into introductions, I would also like to ask Kathy Yurkovich to come onto screen and just make a quick introduction as I know you will all interact with her through the course of the admissions process. Thanks, Tiara. Um, good evening, everybody. Um, I'm, lucky, I'm in my lucky 13th year at Greenwood, um, and one of my roles in admissions is to help guide prospective families 
through the application process. And I look forward to connecting with many of you at some point in the upcoming days and weeks. Uh, if you have any questions relating to the application, the admissions portal, or are having technical issues of any kind, um, please feel free to reach out to me at any time. Uh, thanks and enjoy the rest of the presentation. Of course, we wish we could have all of you in the school with us uh, to experience our community and see it in action. We have made the difficult decision to remain virtual through the admissions process this year continuing to make the safety and well-being of our community a priority. As you seek to learn more about Greenwood, you should go first to our website. There, I encourage you to explore the Virtual Admissions Hub. You can find both pre-recorded videos highlighting some of our program areas, register for upcoming live virtual presentations and events. We hope this session is going to give you some insight into the ways Greenwood is unique and, and serve really as a, a way to excite you about the potential opportunities for your child or for students watching and participating tonight for yourselves. So my colleagues in the admissions team will take a moment to introduce each of themselves and speak briefly about areas that Greenwood values, the approach to customized learning, uh, the importance of community and belonging and the development of character. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jessica Campbell Rogers, and I too would like to thank you for joining us this evening. I have been at Greenwood for 18 years, uh, since the third year of the school's operation. And during my time here, I've been very fortunate to fulfill several different roles at the school. Uh, I've worked in our Student Success Center. I've taught senior level geography and humanities courses. I've worked with the admissions team, and I've also coached the senior track and field team. Uh, this year, my primary role is in admissions as well as with my grade 10 advisor group. At Greenwood, we work hard to customize the educational experience to ensure that all students succeed, uh, whatever that means for them. We do this through a combination of both structural as well as programmatic approaches. So to give you an example, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis within our classrooms, teachers are continually checking in with students to gauge where they're at um, in terms of their learning and also where their interests lie. This information really is used uh, then to uh, design the classroom um, and also to create student groupings. Um, to ensure that both the uh, accurate level of support and challenge is provided. Um, we also do this through co-taught classes, uh, which is another tool for teachers to customize the educational experience. These classes uh, allow for increased opportunities for personalization, uh, they enhance social integration, and they also allow for greater opportunities for self-directed learning, uh, which in turn builds confidence as well as independence. Uh, we also offer uh, several advanced placement as well as reach ahead courses, uh, which allow for additional student enrichment and challenge. And in a typical year, uh, not during a pandemic, uh, we do offer courses in both the semester and non-semester format, again, providing choice and also increasing the number of electives. The teachers in our Student Success Center work directly with students who have an identified learning difference. In many cases, these teachers are also the student advisor and assist in implementing strategies um, to ensure that both the appropriate level of challenge and support is provided in conjunction with the classroom teachers. The Student Success Center is a space which is open to all students at Greenwood. We really do encourage you to visit the admissions hub where you will find a presentation by Heather Thomas, Deputy Head of School, um, which takes a deeper dive into personalized learning here at Greenwood. Uh, we really do want your exploration of Greenwood to also be personalized with you learning about the school through the resources that are available to you virtually, um, and also through personal contact with the admissions team and other members of the Greenwood community. Hello everyone, my name is Connor McFarland. Having spent the first six years of teaching overseas in Australia, I've loved the shift home to Greenwood. Amidst my fifth year here, I've fulfilled many roles such as coordinator athletics, coordinator student leadership and house system, past and current advisor, teacher, and multi-sport coach. 
I'm elated to speak to you today about our truly unique Greenwood community. Our student-focused approach ensures that students and teachers create the foundation for a strong rapport from the first day of school and that these relationships are supported and strengthened over time. The advisor program is essential to the development of such relationships and is built directly into the student timetable. All teachers and advisors participate in our outdoor education program, also known as OE, athletics, arts, service learning, and various other aspects of school life. Participation in these programs by our community provides an opportunity to engage in different learning environments, deepening relationships and providing opportunities to celebrate our differences. Greenwood has an abundance of school spirit, which can be witnessed through the spirit house system, student council, peer mentoring, clubs, and school-wide initiatives like our Terry Fox Run and Day of Reconciliation. Greenwood values curiosity, balance, and well-being while promoting student voice and experience in an effort to build pride in our community and overall a sense of belonging. We are thrilled to have the community back in person this year. And despite COVID protocols and enduring some online learning last year, the community found creative ways to stay connected. Pivoting to online plays such as Scenes from a Quarantine, which was broadcasted from students' home, to virtual integrate house challenges and open mic nights, there's been no shortage of opportunities to connect. Parents are a vibrant and vital part of the Greenwood community. We offer many meaningful opportunities to volunteer at school and to connect with our parents. Involvement in community events, such as parent council, parents have plenty of opportunities to stay connected. We have always prided ourselves on our ability to connect with families interested in applying to Greenwood. That's most easily done through in-person meetings, not possible this year. In lieu of that face-to-face -face contact, you have various ways in which you can connect directly with members of our community. They include participating in a live virtual Q&A session with a member of our admissions team, booking a one-on-one -on -one conversation with one of those members, or simply calling or emailing any one of our team members and engaging in a confidential chat with one of our current parents through the PeerPal platform accessible through our website. We want to meet you and we want to connect with you. We want to answer your questions and we urge you to reach out to us in whatever manner you prefer. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. My name is Bill Farbstein. This is my 12th year at Greenwood and my first year on the admissions team. I'm currently subject team leader for technology and innovation, as well as a teacher for the grade 11 tech design class. In the past, uh, I've been an advisor. Uh, I've worked in the Success Center, coached multiple seasons, and taught a variety of classes in humanities, phys ed, and English. At Greenwood, character development is a fundamental component of our program. Uh, we believe that character is composed of four elements, intellectual, moral, civic, and performance character. The development of these four elements of character is an integral part of everyday life at Greenwood and is fostered through key program areas such as service learning, outdoor education, and of course our advisor program. Greenwood service learning programs allow students to make connections and build relationships with broader Toronto community on a weekly basis. By mentoring young children as reading buddies in Regent Park, volunteering at the local retirement residence, or assembling brown bag lunches for a local youth shelter, students build and appreciate the value of building partnership and giving because they want to, not because they have to. The outdoor education program at Greenwood takes place twice a year. Uh, these outdoor experiences, which become more challenging as students progress through the school, encourage students to find uh, new depths of perseverance, to take risks, and to adapt to their changing environment. It provides an opportunity for students to extend their learning outside of the classroom. Along the way, students learn the value of teamwork and establish enduring friendships. Advisors look at the big picture. Their job is to get to know each advisee and determine the next steps for growth, both in and out of the classroom. Parents are kept up to date on this growth through academic report cards and standalone character report cards dealing students prog uh, detailing students' progress in developing their civic, intellectual, moral, and performance character. 
If we can instill these elements of character in our students, they will graduate ready to be competent, ethical, engaged, and contributing members of society. The admissions hub on the website mentioned by my colleagues is a live and evolving source of information. In addition the content already, to the content already, already mentioned, uh, I wish to also refer you to the recorded presentations on character development and the advisor program at Greenwood and also Greenwood Center for Teaching and Learning. Please note uh, that we will hold live panel type presentations on uh, November 16th and November 23rd at 7 p.m. highlighting the school's programs and approaches on outdoor education, service learning, student leadership, the arts and the success center. We want students to get a feel for the school. That feeling is so important to us, I know, and, and they can start to get a sense of whether being a student at Greenwood feels right to them. There's a dedicated page for prospective students on the hub, uh, a trivia night, uh, a casual drop-in Q&A sessions on Wednesdays from 4 to 4.30, beginning November 1st through December 15th. And it's a good way for uh, students to meet other students uh, and to connect with those who are already attending school here at Greenwood. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah, Kathy, Jessica, Connor, and Bill, and prospective families for joining us this evening. We hope this has been a useful start or next step for your process of navigating through the admissions process and more importantly, um, your understanding of Greenwood. For those of you who are interested, um, we hope you will join us now for some live Q&A sessions joined, as I mentioned earlier, with members from our Greenwood community. You will actually see below the live stream that you're currently watching. Um, you may have to just hit uh, show more, but you should see four uh, links and it's broken down into two groups of prospective families for seven and eight, um, alphabetically, A to L and M to Z. And then the bottom two, you will see grade nine through 12 prospective families, again, A to L, and M to Z. So we would encourage you now um, to jo jump on one of those uh, links and bear with us as we do have quite a lovely crowd this evening. And it will just take us a moment to get families um, onto the Google Meet um, through, through those different links. So take a moment, grab a glass of water or coffee and pop into the Google Meet and we'll see you uh, momentarily. Thanks team. Thanks, everyone.